Lotus releases a new concept car based on one of their racers. Batman flies around Pittsburgh. The internet rumor mill is filled with the new 3 Series and Hyundai's turbocharged Veloster. Plus, we have a dumbass Tuesday in a ZR1. He's king. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and that's all today right here on Fast Lane Daily. Switched it up today a little bit. Next generation of performance is here. Royal Purple's new high-performance street motor oil, HPS. Fortified with zinc phosphorus anti-wear protection, HPS exceeds the demands of high-performance and modified engines. Magnified, HPS improves metal surfaces for longer engine life. HPS's high film strength frees up more power, reduces heat and wear, plus provides greater protection. The next generation of performance is here with HPS from Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. Pebble Beach is this weekend, so that means we're about to see a slew of new cars released. We've already got one in the chamber. Hot off the press this morning. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. See? Hot off the press. News. <laughs> it's the Lotus Avora GTE road car concept, or as I like to call it, the LEGTERCC. Boom. It's essentially a road going version of the GTE race car that competes in several FIA GT events. Lotus has big plans to start racing again in the United States. Rumors are they'll make their way to ALMS before Grand Am gets their head out of their ass. This concept looks more of a production car than anything else, minus the 420 horsepower engine. We think that's a bit too much for a Lotus on the road. Well, if you choose life anyway. The car also comes with an AMT sequential transmission and Pirelli P0 tires. Finally, Lotus gets what the US market wants. Big horsepower, stupid machines for the street. Or did I mean stupid people driving those machines on the street? Eh, it's one or the other. And moving on to some Batman news. Da -na 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 -na. Batman. Good job. YouTube user Subaru WRX fan caught footage of the new Batwing on the set of The Dark Knight Rises while filming in Pittsburgh. Now, again, we can't show you the video here, but we can direct you to go watch it by clicking here. Yeah. Gotta say, it's a pretty cool rig. But you may be asking yourself, how are they going to fake an aircraft that's flying at less than 15 miles per hour? Well, seems like they are filming for a flight scene that they will later add boatloads of CGI to later. Also, did you notice the mannequin, Batman? Yeah. In there? Yeah. Yeah, he's in the cockpit just chilling, not moving. I guess you don't really need Christian Bale in there. I just thought it was pretty funny. Now let's move on to our internet rumor mill. Spy testing somewhere warm and hot. Oh, that's what she said. Maybe. In the United States, the new Hyundai Veloster Turbo. These spy shots found on worldcarfans.com show the prototype sporting a new bumper and larger exhaust tailpipes. Did we really find them or did we steal them? No, we found them on worldcarfans.com. There it is. Either way, if you still don't believe this is a turbocharged Veloster, the spy photog also got a shot of the engine when engineers raised the hood. That's a 1.6 liter turbocharged four banger that will put out 207 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. Expect the new engine to be released with the car in tow sometime later next year. And for those of you who don't like saying Veloster, Veloster, you're not alone. Veloster Raptor, you just gotta think of that. And finally, take a look at these shots. What do you think this car is? Any guesses? Anyone? Do you actually see the car right there or do you see a green screen? It's just a green screen, man. You're right. Well, it's the new 3 Series, spied by a member over at BMW FAQ. I guess that's BMW Frequently Asked Questions. Yeah. On location at the car's press photo shoot. These photos don't really tell us too much, but we can certainly see the design of the new 3-er looking a lot like the current F10.5. Good work, BMW. Keeping the company afloat. I think it looks good. I, I always like 3 Series. Now some dumbass Tuesday action, or should I call this one the ultimate douchebag Tuesday. Submitted by YouTuber Foster Michael R, this video shows some guy just driving along decides to film this Corvette ZR1 that happens to be driving by. Little does he know, this was about to happen. What the f***? What the f***? Yeah. Are you I don't kidding know if the ZR1 dumbass thought he was further than he was to pass him, or he just wanted to get on it and be cool, but you can see he straight up ran into him. The best is the guy's reaction in the car, or maybe it's the passenger, I'm not sure. But how about we take a listen to that? What the f***? What the f**k? Uh, Are you kidding me? Anyway, no, he was not kidding you. He was basically crashing into you. Mr. ZR1 driver, you, my friend, are a dumbass. Not only on Tuesdays, 
but every day from now on. He's yeah, king. He is king. And the passenger, if you notice and you really listen to it, he makes the best noise ever. He's like, oh, it's the best. You gotta really listen to it. All right, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Oh, before we go, I gotta show you guys this. It's Aston Kutcher's trailer who'll be residing in while filming the sitcom Two and a Half Men on CBS. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's basically 1,200 square feet, two floor mansion on wheels that cost $2 million. It has friggin' lobbies. Yes, lobbies. Oh, and did I mention CBS will be paying 8,750 bucks a week to accommodate Kutcher in this thing. F my life. Yeah. How are they going to fake an aircraft that's flying at less than 15 miles per hour? Well, seems they like uh, fuck. <laughs> Series and Hyundai's turbocharged Veloster. Veloster. I always say that. Pebble Beach is this weekend. So that means we're about to see us. <laughs> <laughs>